Uh, sketch below is the graph h of x. So we have h of x being equals to 1 divided by x plus p plus q. Uh, the asymptotes of h intersected uh, a coordinate uh, 1, 2, right? That's where we have our coordinate uh, sim, right? Let's just call it a sim. And then uh, 4.1.1. 4.1.1 says that let's write down the values of p and q uh, the values of p and q uh, so q q is the uh, horizontal asymptote right so q is equals to 2 uh, we can see it here from our graph right uh, that's from our general knowledge of a hyperbola so q is equals to uh, 2 that's what we know, right? And then uh, now we're looking for P, right? So if you look at this equation uh, of the hyperbola here, we have X plus P, right? So to find the uh, P, you see X plus P is equals to zero, right? So X is equals to minus P. But then from our graph, we have the value of X. X is one, right? So now you can see that uh, minus P is just equals to 1. So if you solve for p here, you're going to get p is equals to minus 1. So q is equals to 2 and p is equals to minus 1, right? Uh, hence, we have uh, our asymptote at x is equals to 1 because uh, if x is 1, then we have 1 divided by 0, which uh, we're not supposed to have. Uh, let's do 4.1.2. So 4.1.2 is saying that let's calculate the coordinates of the x intercept of h. So as, a, as soon as I hear x uh, intercept, I'm letting y be equals to 0, right? So from h of x, I'm going to put 0, and then we have 1 divided by uh, x minus 1 uh, plus 2, right? So now if we take 2 to the other side, we're going to get minus 2 is equals to 1 divided by x minus 1. So minus 2x plus 2 is equals to 1. So minus 2x is going to be equals to uh, 1 minus 2. That will be minus 1. So x is equals to 1 divided by 2. So our coordinate is 1 divided by 2 and 0. Let's do 4.1.3. 4.1.3 says that let's write down the x coordinate of the x intercept of g if uh, g of x is equals to h and then x plus 3 right uh, so let's understand what g of x is doing to h of x g of x is moving h of x three units to the left if we have plus 3 we are moving three units to the left. If we have minus, uh, we're moving three units to the right. It's counterintuitive, I know, but then it is what it is. So g of x, you just move h of x three units to the left, right? So if uh, the x-intercept was at one divided by two, now we have to move it three units to the left. How can we move it three units to the left? We're going to say one divided by two minus three right uh, that's exactly what you're gonna say and if we compute this we're saying that x is equals to one divided by two minus three which will be equals to uh, minus 2.5 right so the new um, x coordinate of the x-intercept uh, will be x is equals to minus 2.5 because we have moved h of x three units to the left now let's do 4.1.4. 4.1.4 says that uh, the equation of an axis of symmetry of H is uh, y is equals to x plus t. Determine the values of t. So we are given the slope, right? Um, we just have to find t. Uh, so if so, if you have an axis of symmetry, the point you substitute is this point here, uh, where the axis of symmetry intersect you substitute that point if you want uh, where the asymptotes intersect i meant uh, that's the point you substitute if you want to find an equation of the axis of symmetry so if we uh, substitute that point right we're gonna get uh, two being equals to uh, one plus t so two for the y and one for x yeah so we're gonna get uh, one is equals to t so the axis of symmetry is um 
y is equal to x plus 1 and uh, we just asked to find t and then uh, there we have t so I think we're good to go uh, the last question 4.1.5 says that let's determine the values of x for which uh, minus 2 is less or equals to 1 divided by x minus 1. Let me show you something. If we uh, take minus 2 to the uh, right hand side, we're going to get 0 uh, being less or equals to 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 2. And this is the equation we have in the graph, right? So what this question is asking us is to find the values of x uh, for which the graph is, uh, is at 0 or above right the values of x for which the graph is at zero or above right so let's look for that uh, let me just erase this so that yeah we can have a bit of clarity so let's go to our graph right we don't have to do this algebraically obviously you can but then we don't have to um, if we have the graph already so let's look at the graph we can see here that uh, for this part of the graph uh, this part here the graph is greater than zero right so for all those values of x on that part they say it is y what we're looking for so we can say that when x is greater than one uh, our um, equation is satisfied because uh, each of x is clearly greater than zero right uh, now let's look at the other wing uh, we know that the x intercept is here right and we've calculated it uh, that's when x is equals to um, 1 divided by 2 right but if we go to the left then uh, our graph h of x is uh, above 0 right uh, so on that side we can see that when x is less or equals to a half our equation is satisfied because h of x is either equals to right at x is equals to 1 divided by 2 or greater than when x is less than 1 divided by 2.